celebrate. We are out for an observation walk, and you have to make sure that you have to use all your senses, okay? You need to draw pictures and write figures of language to describe the day, to describe the experience. And for those who want extra credit, who want extra credit, you can write poetry, you can write um, a, um, an artistic description of your tour. Okay? All right. So we're going to get started. We'll fill out this sheet. This is the facade of the building. A facade means the front of the building. What do you notice? Do you notice some, anybody see anything artistic here? There's a flower. Flower motif and information. You can write this. It's a mural and information. This is part of the facade and the signage, okay? So we're going to write and walk. We should have filled this out already, okay? Everybody got it? All right. We're going to learn the names of trees and bushes. Okay, take it with you and let's go around to the right. All right, let's go. We're moving. Locust tree. You can take one tiny leaf if you want. Honey locust is a type of tree. Honey locust. Uh, you can put this in the front closet. Honey locust. Honey locust. You can take it. Honey locust. Honey locust. Honey locust. Honey locust. They make a, something that you eat from here. You put on pancakes. What do they make? Maple syrup. This is. This is a sugar maple. This is a sugar maple. Not all maples are sugar. This is a sugar maple. It has a shaggy bark and beautiful leaves. Isn't this pretty? Shag. Sugar maple. What do you make from this? Not honey, but syrup. Maple syrup. Yeah. Syrup. They can make syrup. Sycamore. S Y C A M O R E. Sycamore. Does the does the bark look sick or healthy? Sick. It looks sick. It isn't. But that's a good way to remember. Sycamore is not sick, but are not. You look at this. They have to use a house. It says S Y C S. No, no, no. It's book at you think anybody in this building knows the history of it? No. You could ask the principal, you could ask the superintendent. They have no idea how we do it. What's the history of that? If you ever, they will give you extra credit to find out, right? <laughs> yes. Or maple. Okay, it doesn't look like your hand. There's a lot more fingers, right? So it's not a maple, it's a... Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Birch tree, B-I-R-T-H. Birch tree. Alright, birch tree is used by the Indians. What do you think they used it for? For making, for writing what? For paper. For paper. For paper. For paper. This is a birch tree, B-I-R-T-H. And what did they the use Native for pencils? Americans used it to make paper and canoes. What did they use to make paper, um, pencils? They write with? Yes. Uh, probably charcoal. So you said that they used this for paper and boats? And canoes. Canoes? Alright, this is a birch tree used to make paper by Indians and canoes. It would be the side of the canoe to keep the water from coming in. You'd have to work pretty hard to get this to be a canoe. Hey, you want to hear my This is how you want